In this video, we're going to show you how to make a kantha quilt. Kantha is a traditional Indian embroidery technique. Layers of old saris are stitched together to form bedspreads or cushions. We have used old sheets rather than batting in our kantha quilt project to evoke the traditional drapey feel of kantha pieces and reflect this heritage. Because the colourful panels of the kantha quilt are fastened together with rows of different coloured stitches, we're using a slimline floor lamp from the Daylight Company to help improve visibility and definition of the small stitches on the busy prints. There are two flexible joists in the neck of the lamp, which make it easy to adjust to the exact position you need. The four-step dimmer lets you choose the best illumination for your project. Because the LEDs don't give off heat, it keeps things comfortable working on larger projects like quilts. The wide field of illumination is great for bigger projects like the Cantha quilt, where you want good, accurate light over a large working area. The pattern uses quilt blocks of five and a half by 11 inch rectangles. Start your camper quilt by cutting your rectangles. Place two panels with right sides facing together and pin along the long edge. Machine stitch along this long edge removing your pins as you go. Press the seam open. Join two more rectangles together and lay the two paired panels with right sides facing. Pin together along the short edge then machine stitch the short edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seam open. Make more 4x4 four four blocks. Lay your 4x4 four four blocks together with right sides facing. Pin together and machine stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press your new seam open. Repeat this process joining 4x4 four four blocks until you have the quilt size you need. For this video we're only using 3 4x4 four four blocks to help keep everything in shot, but you can upscale to make it fit any bed or any project that you have at home. Keeping with Cantho tradition, we're filling our quilt with layers cut from an old bed sheet. Cut two panels from your sheet using the patchwork front as a guide to the size you need. Layer your sheet panels on top of each other and then lay the patchwork on top with the right side facing up. Add a few quilt pins to hold your three layers together. We'll take these out later once we've added our camper embroidery stitches. Select a contrasting colour of cotton perlay thread. You're going to sew a running stitch in lines backwards and forwards, covering your chosen section and stitching through all three layers of the camper quilt. Your stitches can be quite large and you can start and finish the thread with knots on the back because you'll be adding a separate backing later to cover this. Cover the whole of this rectangle with the camphor embroidery stitches. For every pair of rectangles in your quilt, you want to use camphor embroidery stitches to secure the layers together in one of the rectangles.
Once you've finished all the camther embroidery, that will hold your layers together so you can take out all the safety pins you used to secure them before you started stitching. Trim away any excess fabric and square up your quilt. Place the backing on top of the quilt, right sides together and trim the backing to the same size as your patchwork. Pin together around the four sides and then stitch around the outer edge using a quarter inch seam. You want to leave a gap for turning through about 14 inches wide in the centre of one short side of your quilt. Snip off the excess corner fabric watching out for your seams. Turn the quilt through so the right side is now facing out and press your quilt. Hand sew the turning gap closed. Take a double length of perle cotton and sew a small stitch from the right side through to the back and up to the front again. Tie the ends together at the front with a simple reef or square knot. This knot will hold the quilt together with the backing so it doesn't gape in the central sections. Repeat the knot, alternating the direction of the thread ends. Repeat this process to add these ties all over the top of the quilt at each intersection and in the centre of the fabric areas with no camphor stitching using different coloured perle cottons throughout. Enjoy your camphor quilt!